attend what? Attend to my words. Attend to my words. God needs your attention. Attend to my words. Go on. Incline thine ear unto my sayings. In other words, listen to me. You see, we think God needs to listen to us. Oh God, I got a lot to tell you. I got a lot of praying to, uh, praying to pray. I got a lot of requests. I, I, got, I need this and I We think he needs to hear us. A lot of times, we need to hear him. He says, give me your attention. Listen to me. All right, incline thine ear unto my sayings. Uh huh. <laughs> Let them not depart from your heart. Why? That means meditate on them. Give me your attention. Meditate on what I tell you. Give me your attention. Listen to me. And when you hear what I gotta tell you, meditate on what I gotta tell you. What's more? Uh huh. For they are life to those that find them. They are life to those that find them. Oh, glory to God. They are life to those that find them. To those that find them. Everybody may not find them, but there are those that will find them. They are life to those that find them. And what? Health. To what? To all their flesh. The word translated health there in the Hebrew translation is the word mape. Mape means medicine. It means kill. Hallelujah. In other words, he says, my words are medicine to those that find them. Medicine. God's words have curative powers. Medicine to those that find them. Life to those that find them. Life and medicine to all their flesh. Medicine to all their flesh. Hiya. Medicine. You know, there are things that people are sick of, and there's no medicine for those things. They tell them, hey, brother, there's no kill. What? Not when you have my pain. <laughs> Hallelujah. My pain to all their flesh. Medicine to all their flesh. No part of your body is hidden from the world. He says, give me your attention. As the minister to the Lord. I said, the first thing you need to minister to the Lord is to give him your attention. Give him your attention. Attain to my words. That means you set a time aside, you take the Bible, you sit down there, or you put the tape on, and then you shut that door, and you're going to listen to the word of God. You're going to study the word of God. You're going to give attention to his word. Incline thine ear unto my sayings. Listen, because the Spirit of God will bring His word to your spirit. You listen. Keep them in the midst of your heart. Meditate on them, for they are life to those that find them. Life to those that find them. It will destroy every growth in your body, it will get rid of the pain. Hallelujah. There's some of you here. Who may be going through challenges in your health. And you are all the time declaring, I'm healed. The word of God is in me. You are so declaring the word. So talking that you no longer can even give God attention. You're giving yourself attention. Too much attention on your condition. Every now and then you move and you feel that thing as a, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. All the time, all the time, you're attending to the pain. 
change your focus minister to the Lord are you hearing me change your focus you have said enough don't find yourself joining into unbelief you have said enough now minister to the Lord and there's a way you can also connect this whole thing in your ministering to the Lord for example Lord I thank you for giving me a wonderful body to serve you with glory to God this body belongs to you it is strengthened and healthy thank you Lord Jesus praise God your word will come forth from this body always glory to God see you've connected it and Satan can't do nothing about your body because you're using your body now to minister unto the Lord hallelujah then learn to kneel before the Lord learn to prostrate before the Lord you see it's part of ministering unto the Lord are you listening it's not all the time you lie on your bed and you know you're lying on your bed and you know just enjoying yourself on your bed you know sometimes you have to humble yourself you know get off of that bed find your knees on the floor let them hit the floor stay there before the Lord you know we are we are so blessed you know everywhere we are there's air condition I mean air conditioned car to air conditioned room to air condition everything you know I mean so you I mean you, you are serving God <laughs> I mean everything's working out for you so much so that now you want to pray you cross your leg on your bed and say father thank you I've woken up <laughs> even when the Holy Spirit is saying kneel down you see I can pray anywhere <laughs> I thank you Lord it, it's it listen maybe that's why some of you get into some real serious problems because until you have a serious problem you never stop to give God attention even to pray in the morning it is prayer while you are dressing I thank you Lord as I I'm getting ready for work now in Jesus name I thank you, oh, you, are, you no time for God it's why you are on, in the traffic in the name of the Lord Jesus I just thank you father it was a great night I will have a great day as well in Jesus name <laughs> what's wrong with that fellow in your prayer and somebody is disturbing you in your window there showing you a newspaper sick and you are saying <laughs> Kurama you you need time but when you have a problem guess what you don't even feel like going to work you get a problem you don't feel like dressing up to talk to God you you oh, 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 oh. Uh, the, all the angels say welcome <laughs> we've been waiting to hear your voice because when you have a problem then God can have your attention why don't you have a great life by not waiting for a problem serve God with gladness giving your attention why you have it before something else takes the attention there are people who are only praying in the hospital right now and they might be there for some time not because they are really sick but that is the only way that God can hear their voice since they've been there now every day who's killing his all the food they've been eating and eating and nobody could tell them to fast not even the Holy Spirit now you bring the food mm -mm. <laughs> you were told to fast no I'm trying to build I'm trying to build you've been building okay now keep building until something that will collect it with a <laughs> serve the Lord Why? you should do it now give him your attention 